Hi, welcome. Today we're going to be working on doing a fun mitten project. So you're going to have your sheet of paper and some construction paper crayons. And the first thing I'm going to do is pick a nice color and I'm going to trace myself on here with my mitten. And when we have mittens, we don't do the individual fingers, right? We usually have a thumb and then a big rainbow that kind of arcs around and then a part of our arm that's probably touched. Then we want to add in a little mitten cuff that goes on there. And we can begin decorating our mitten. Ooh, Mallory. Then we're gonna work on our patterns on here. And patterns are things that repeat, repeat, repeat. They do what? Repeat, repeat, repeat. So there's repeat, repeat, one more, repeat. So now I have a zigzag pattern. And then maybe the next thing I do is a polka dot pattern. And you kind of get the idea of what this is going to look like as we go through. And you come up with your own patterns, your own ideas for things. Look around the room, look around your house, your school. You'll see all types of different patterns you can do. And then we can color them in. Then the next thing we can do is we can go through and we can draw some snowflakes. And you can do round snowflakes if you want to, or you can do fancy snowflakes. So you do a plus sign, and then you put an X in it, and then you put little V's at the tips on the edges, right? And you could do some blue ones, you could do some white ones. Mix them up a little bit between the blue and the white. Do a plus sign, an X, and then a little V on the end. And you're gonna fill up your whole paper all around your mitten with some snowflakes. Okay, after you finish your mitten in your background, we're gonna get a white piece of paper and our circle templates. We wanna use this biggest one right here. I'm gonna put it in the corner because we're gonna share these and get a lot of use out of them. I'm gonna use a crayon and make my circle and then I'm going to cut that circle. Now I'm going to take this circle, fold it in half, fold it in half again, fold it in half one more time. It's pretty tiny now, right? Now it's all folded up, kind of equal. I'm gonna leave it folded. I'm going to use my scissors to make it into a snowflake. So you wanna use the deep part of your scissors where it's really sharp and cut just tiny little snippets like that. And so they crisscross and fall out. Remember, this is going to be the outside of my snowflake out here on this curvy edge. So I'm going to cut out kind of like little pizza pie shapes out of there. So they crisscross. Be careful not to let it slip and cut my fingers. And then one more on this side. So you really cut three triangles, one on each side in different shapes. And then pull those out. Okay, like that. You would snip off just the tip a little bit, move this out of the way, take off those extra pieces, and then very carefully when I unfold this, right, I'm going to have my beautiful snowflake. I'm going to get a little dab of glue, we're going to put it right there on our mitten. Just a little bit, there's some empty holes there, so your finger might get a little glue on it, that's okay. Spread it thin, we don't want it really thick and sticking up. Figure out where you want to put it on your mitten, where you might be holding a snowflake. And then you can just tap down that center. And we want to leave the side sticking up just a little bit off the edges of our paper. And then, of course, if you haven't put your name on it, put your name on it. We're going to take a picture, put it on our Sonia, and then put it on the drying rack to take home later today.